my ex is getting engaged to his GF. We slept together just six months ago. Should I tell her? Me and my ex are from the same ethnic group, and it's a very tight-knit community. So I know that if I were to tell her, it'd spiral into a huge scandal and would come right back to me. And I don't want to bring any embarrassment to myself or my family. Also, his family is deeply religious and his dad is a pastor. So is he actually. So that would bring incredible shame to them too. No doubt my name would get dragged through the mud. As for the girl, I am 100% sure he cheated on me with her initially. I actually broke up with him because of her, and how blatant it was starting to seem that they had a thing going on. I don't know how I've let him have any contact with me even since just that alone, but I'm a clown, and I have. We've slept together like 4 slash 5 times since I, now, believe they have been together. The first two times was this time last year. I had unblocked him after having him blocked for about a year since I broke up with him. He told me they weren't together. Two nights after the second time we slept together, he was in another state and posted of a photo of them together for some church conference. Like a very obvious couple's photo. I was distraught, we argued, I blocked him. He actually said during that argument that he wasn't dating her yet, but if he wants to he will. This year pretty much the same thing. Except this time he told me he broke up with her but she was refusing to accept it. Apparently even saying, we'll see. How she cheated on him, was meeting up with other guys including her ex behind his back. Just airing out all her business and painting her to be this crazy, mega obsessed girl that just wouldn't accept that the relationship was over. He even showed me screenshots of their texts. We saw each other a few times but in the end it didn't work out. He basically told me without actually telling me that he didn't love me, after insisting he still did for weeks. It was surreal. I was so embarrassed that I wasn't even heartbroken. I wasn't even registering what he was saying after a while and was just dying to get off the phone with him. It was like in that moment I had an epiphany and actually properly realized that any love he ever felt for me was ghostly. It no longer existed, and hadn't for a long time, we were never going to work again, and I needed to let it go. I've blocked him again since and it's staying that way. I learned yesterday from my cousin that goes to their church that they're getting engaged. She claims they've definitely been together for the last almost two years now. Everyone in their church knows this. I feel like I have more to lose than gain from telling her. I don't imagine anything would come of it, I think she'd still stay with him. Also, when he was still with me and I believe messing around with her, I messaged her once. She pretty much told me to screw off and sent screenshots of my message around. So when I consider that, I'm not entirely compassionate towards her honestly. But I know regardless that it's a horrible position to be. Should I tell her? comment. They cheated on you, you cheated with him on her. She apparently cheats on him too, which sounds likely since she cheated with him while he was with you. He's 100% going to continue cheating on her with other people. Usually I would say, rather desperately, dear God please tell them. But damn. They did it to you first, and if you say anything now, she'll just tell everyone that you're some sad, pathetic ex trying to get him back. And not the reality, that he's been lying to you both, and that you're just trying to keep your side of the road clean. They're cheaters, let them enjoy that torture together. At least it'll keep a couple of cheaters out of the dating pool. Go get an STD test. The sooner you can separate yourself from these people, the sooner you can welcome new empathetic and lovely people into your life. Best of luck. I would tell everyone. She said that to you. Oh honey. Drop screenshots and anything you have. He is a pastor, way more to lose than you and she deserves to hurt the way she did you. Next story too. My mother yelled at me on my birthday. My grandma, ADF, called me yesterday to tell me I deserve all of it. I went to Berlin for my 19th birthday with my BF a couple of friends and some family. We went to a Persian restaurant for my birthday dinner where my mum and sister proceeded to get incredibly drunk and berate me for 20 minutes for being disrespectful. For context we went out the day before and dinner was quite sour because I was quiet and not saying much. At the end of the dinner, my BF offered to pay for our meals in cash but he only had pounds, UK, so I said that was silly and to hold onto it and ill bank transfer her. Well I didn't have her bank details so I asked to see her card so I could quickly settle the bill and leave, she then proceeded to tell me to just fuck off ok, smiley face, while she was berating me she called me a bitch, a liar, rude she got up from the table and told me to fucking pay for it. 
During this night, I did absolutely nothing to provoke this attack and this is cooperated by my BF and friends who were forced to sit there awkwardly through my mother's drunken rage. She also yelled at them too. The next day, which was the day of my birthday, my mom and sister sent me birthday messages as if nothing was the matter. I ignored these. My boyfriend encouraged me to go speak to them before they leave, me and my friends were staying slightly longer, and my mother laid into me again saying I'm a filthy liar and comparing me to my estranged half-sister who is a bit of a pariah in my family. She said there's more than just my truth and I need to realize that. I said that no matter how she believes I transgressed against her, there is no excuse for her behavior in the restaurant the night before. She then said that I am financially dependent on her and I should do well not to burn my bridges. Fast forward to about a week later and I call my grandma just for a little chat. I had no intentions of talking about this situation. I told her she wasn't there and it was between me and my mom. She told me I was an ungrateful child and that no one enjoys my company, that if I had been her child she would have strung me up on the ceiling by now and that I'm a very unpopular person. Not really sure what I've done wrong but okay. My BFS mom heard this conversation over the phone and came into the room to comfort me and said no child should be spoken to like that by their grandmother regardless of age. I guess I just don't t really know what to do now because my mom is right I am financially dependent but is it even worth the stress? Comment. I'm sorry you had to experience all of this but I'm glad you're able to recognize the value you hold in life. Your BF and his family seem like good supports and your mom and grandmother obviously have some unresolved family trauma that you unfortunately fall prey to. I'm glad you spoke of for yourself but perhaps it's a good time to reconsider what boundaries you're no longer going to let them cross and perhaps avoid outings like this in the future where alcohol is also involved. At some point you will probably realize that your mom and grandma's issues go deeper than you ever realized. Their behaviors and actions towards you say more about their own inabilities to foster healthy relationships, but this won't change until they recognize the impact it has on you and pay a visit to the self-improvement store. You're going to get to a point where you probably can't stand to be around them anymore, but that's perfect okay and normal to feel. Cutting off family that doesn't add value to your life or see your true worth are usually the first ones I let go and move on from. The ball is in your court. Cheers. Is your grandmother your mom's mom? Because that would explain the behavior. Not that your GMA would stick to what your mom said and have her back, but more like, they're both effing nuts and toxic and because GMA raised your mom, this is how she behaves as well. You have the chance to break out of this toxicity. Can you move in with your BF? Could his mother help you to get out of this situation? Not necessarily financial but, to have a guiding hand? No you do not need to stay in contact with your mother, grandmother, or any family member who treats you like trash. Not in the name of Faa Amelie or anything like that. I wonder why your half-sister is estranged. It's not your fault that some people are jacent garbage, and will dump their own shit on you. Next story 3. Husband's co-worker's wife won't stop texting me. Hi everyone. I went to a wedding with my husband for one of his co-workers. My husband invited another co-worker, they work in different departments but started at the same time, over to get a drink and eat with us before the wedding. I had never met his wife before, so I wanted to be friendly and make a good impression on everyone. Unfortunately, the wife trauma dumped a ton of shit on me, hardcore mental issues, drug issues, death of loved ones, all in about one hour of being together. Then we invited them back to our hotel room with some other co-workers. We were the only wives there, and she basically cornered me and trauma dumped some more. I couldn't get a word in. She doesn't seem like a bad person, but I don't like when people do that within the first hour of meeting a new person. At the wedding, she of course sat right next to me at the table. Thankfully another wife was there and we ended up talking most of the time. At the end of the night, I noticed she had put on her husband's jacket. And was being very quiet. I was on the dance floor the entire time, I love dancing, and I felt bad for her so I asked if they wanted to dance with us. She said no and acted very subdued. I just figured she was one of those people that didn't like to dance at weddings and let it go, I have a ton of friends like this as well. My husband and I went back to the hotel and I figured that was that. But then the next day I get a friend request on Instagram from her. I figured it was no big deal so I added her. She immediately messages me asking for my number. Like an idiot, I gave her it. I honestly didn't think she would text me a lot. She has texted me almost every day even though I haven't responded since the first day. It is random things like hey girl and good morning. And memes of stupid shit. 
She also told me that some girl had yelled at her for showing off her ugly arms at the bathroom during the wedding, she has self-harm scars, and that's why she didn't want to dance and put the jacket on. That's the only time I responded to say WTF what did she look like. She evaded the question and finally said her hair color but no other details. That was also just the first day she got my number. It's giving me anxiety because normally I just ignore people and they take the hint, but she is relentless. I also can't just say fuck off because it's his co-worker's wife. I'm actually starting to get creeped out and icky vibes. Does anyone have advice or experience on this? Should I be rude and tell her to stop texting me? I want to tread carefully due to my husband's job. Comment. This is very much a conversation you need to have with your husband so he can get ahead of the fallout when you cut her off. And yes, you absolutely have to cut her off. That's a fair concern. If you don't think that his suggestion is working, you can always revisit the conversation. Doing this together doesn't just mean that what he says goes. You shouldn't say anything. Saying nothing says it all. Your husband, however, may need to have a frank conversation with his co-worker. It's concerning behavior and the co-worker needs to intervene if everyone wants to come out of this peacefully with both jobs and boundaries. Ask your husband how much impact this woman's husband had on his work situation. I've had this happen and it's awkward AF. The best you can do is occasionally respond politely, but remain neutral. Hopefully she'll find another person to dump on. This is what I'd do. No need to make it a bigger drama than it needs to be. As there haven't been any consequences yet for basically ignoring her, just keep doing it. If anyone ever confronts you over it, just say you aren't really very good with responding to text messages. Drives my friends crazy but it's just not my thing, I tend to only respond if it's something that urgently requires my attention.